slow down, especially, especially for who? For all of you. And don't rise here as well. Well, hello and welcome back, and thanks for coming back. We're in downtown Kedapapos. I've got Miss Oching receive you the booth who is dancing on a little fountain outside the Almira Hotel. And we've got a man whistling at us just over yonder, and that is Mr. Fivos outside his restaurant. He's saying to you, Yasu, Yasu, Yasu. If you want a great meal just before you get to the Kedapapos promenade, that's where you gotta go. And one of these days, we're gonna go in there and tour that restaurant and feast our eyes and digest the menu, especially for you. But without further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to the girl that likes to dance in front of danger. She's the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Ochin Gracivia Labouf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again am i sweating oh no no marika you will tell me now mr paul uh, only the men women sweat. glisten women is a glisten. new thing for me it's you said thing you, you said perspire no that? they don't perspire Pers perspirantin perspirantin yeah? come on come on stop monkeying around mr Fibos obviously wants something because i saw him waving and saying and uh do we go not today, but we are going to go, as I was saying, to into that restaurant and we're going to take you through the menu, have a chat with him. He's a legend in downtown Kedapathos. Probably one of the best restaurants on your approach into the downtown Kedapathos promenade and harbour area. Now, why are we chosen to start the video here? Because we wanted to show you some of the roadworks and the improvements that are taking place in downtown Kedapathos. Just over yonder is the Keg and Barrel pub, and that means that that is the start of Bar Street. And if you start to look carefully, you can see some strange shapes. Those are gonna be brand new seating areas and planting areas, and there's gonna be works of art in this area. For those of you who have got very, very good eyesight indeed, you may have noticed that the final coat of the black stuff is on the road. That must mean that this part of downtown Kedapathos is slowly but surely coming to fruition and the pavement on this side of the road is complete. So we invite you to come with us and we take you to the cusp and the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Well, if you think about the changing performance of this town and the way it has changed in the short comparing, in a short period of time comparing what it was and what it is at the moment being, you, you will be really amazed. Uh, first it's a planning, then it's a creating into the life, then it's working and then of course if the finances is not singing the romances, <laughs> would be nice. Downtown Kedapathos Promenade, for those of you who regularly follow the channel, has gone to huge heights. Massive, massive improvements have taken place. Lots of brand new pavements, lots of little metal posts have been put into them to make sure that people like myself can't park on them, which means that you have now got that perfect, perfect walkway when you want to go and enjoy the delights that are awaiting you on the downtown Kedapathos promenade and harbour area. On the other side of the road, yet again, there are some more planting areas and some seating areas. And I've seen the pictures and the sketches, and I promise you, it's going to be absolutely spectacular in another four to six weeks or thereabouts that's what they're telling us there's going to be different colored concrete pathways planting galore shades lights you name it pathos is going to have it all that's for sure and of course there is uh, a few very famous uh, bars and restaurants to be for the people and i've never seen a few bars which mr paul would you mention them uh, empty even in this uh, particular time when you was risking to break one of your two legs luckily you've got two. yeah luckily you've got two but 
there are quite a few people, as Marika's just been telling you, that always make sure that they pop into that place. Now, that little cafeteria called the Nest Cafe Bar has been there since the beginning of time. And there's many people that like to go and sit on that terrace. And in fact, one or two of them are in town as we speak. Baron John, Baroness Louise. And of course, they brought with them the baby Bernhawk. Bernhawk? No, Barnhawk. That's Miss Fern. And of course, if she's in town, that must mean that Harry the Keeper is here as well. This is the Annabelle Hotel, five-star luxury hotel. That again, sits on the cusp and the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea and there are an awful lot of bars and restaurants and businesses waiting for you but why not if perhaps you want to go and watch some sport if you want some beauty and some spa treatments there's a shop waiting for you brand new pharmacy and the Poseidon gift shop is waiting especially for you and of course I uh, would like to say a many 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 thanks to the people who joined us or oh, we joined them in the karaoke for the previous uh, times as you observed we loved it really the company of all these people were amazing you couldn't wish any better company or conversation or the time or the place we really really enjoyed it and if anybody of you thinking or planning to come here you can name uh, the place and we can join for the same. We can indeed. At the moment, we are frequenting Lofty's Bar, as you may have noticed. They got karaoke on a Wednesday and on a Saturday. Hopefully, from this Friday onwards, we are going to go and appear with many, many of our superstar members at another little bar on Two of the Kings, and that one is called the Queen Vic. We met the gentleman that owns it and he invited us there for Friday to see just how we like it and how we get on. So Annabelle Hotel is on the left-hand side and there's shops galore, bars galore on the right-hand side. But most importantly, the pavements on this side of the road, as you can see, are almost, I mean almost, almost complete. There's a bit of tidying up to do, a few little bit of pointing work, but they put in the metal bars. Cars can't park here anymore. So that means it's a very, very good thing for you guys when you're walking along this part in downtown Kedapathos, heading in the direction of the promenade. What have you got around here? Well, Marius Diamonds. Luckily he's closed at the moment, so I've got a rain check but uh, if you want more information on him you message me and I'll tell you when he's open and when he's not for when you're walking along with your Le Bouf. Now on the left hand side here up above in the clouds is possibly one of the greatest Chinese restaurants in the world certainly in downtown Ketapafos. It all lights up like a Christmas tree at night time by the way and the food is quite simply to die for. It's called the Imperial Chinese downtown Ketapafos. I remember when we first came here with Fionn and John. No, uh, Louise. Baroness Louise and John. Yes, Fionn's uh, singing still in my ears. The same with Carrie's, by the way. You two are unbelievable. Uh, you just melt my heart down. And when we came here first time, it was uh, sort of winter time. It was somewhere winter there, season. November, yeah. maybe, or somewhere there, because I remember we were dressed quite warmly and uh, it was amazing i think we were a few tables in the in the living in the inside we were not sitting in the balconies and it was really really nice the food uh, processing and uh, the servicing of the waiters were quite quick it was indeed it is a great great chinese restaurant we're not just saying that we're going to have a bit of a chinese restaurant off between this one and Chloe's, which of course is on the downtown Kedo Pathos promenade. And of course the barn hawks are gonna join us. And at the end of it, we may decide which one we think is the best. But one thing's for sure, Harry the Keeper is gonna be picking up the tap. Well, um, I really like this boy. Uh, and I think the most important, uh, what Fionn says, and uh, nothing was too much trouble, I mean, the, the boy was absolutely gentleman. Uh, you could see that he respects Fionn and Fionn loves him. This is the most important. I wish you all the best. Yes, indeed. And one of these days there's going to be a wedding. There's no doubt about that. And of course, wherever it may be, Miss Archie Grisilla Booth and myself will be jetting in, especially for 
that day. Now, this is Coffee Shop Central around here. On the left-hand side is the Costa Coffee, which is possibly one of the best coffee shops in the whole of Paphos. Across the road, we'll come to that one in a minute, but there's Starbucks and there's Coffee Island, and there's one of those jewellery shops again. And of course, the little place that we overlook, which is one of our favourite, favourite restaurants in the world. There's the man in charge of it talking to his crew. And of course, they're getting ready and waiting especially for you. There's Mr V and the crew. That is the La Royale restaurant. Could be the best restaurant in downtown Kedapathos. And of course, there's a place in many people's heart for that place. One of which, of course, is Lady Andrea. And of course... Our Sir Mart, who's physically, physically, that's a new word again. There we are, Mark Peacock with a Sir at the start of it. I'm always inventing these crazy new words. But anyway, our Lord Mart is busily making sure that the warehouse where he works is always spotlessly clean. He's a senior manager and that's one of his responsibilities. And we were having a conversation last night and he said that, Mr Paul, you should keep your workshop clean and I said well I'm the boss I'm going to do anything do you know what I would like to say by the way according to this very royal uh, restaurant and the, the, the hotel close to it I would like to say they are very very lucky the location of it is amazing I think this is the first and very nearest standing hotel of all the hotels that they're going as a line further down up um, she means the closest hotel closest to the Cato Papos Promenade. Yes. In the promenade, yes, the closest hotel. And, uh, you know, according to that, comparing, the prices are very nice. They're not biting at all. They're just uh, meowing you. They are just meowing, They're yes. They're just coming like a sweet uh, pet, your beautiful favorite pet, cat or dog and uh, meowing and meowing you is the same time when they would want from you some food yes, or something. Yes, it is that it's kind beautiful. of hotel that it's purrs beautiful. the living delights out of you. And there it is in green writing, the Dionysus Central Hotel. Of course, it is very, very centrally located to the Cater Paphos Promenade and Harbour area. Who's going to be staying there? Well, one or two of our superstars, that's for sure. Let's kick it off with who's coming first. Let me think. Oh, yes, Lord Martin, and of course, that smiling beauty, greatest accountant in the world, and that's his Lady Victoria. At the same time that they're coming, there's a princess coming, and that's our princess Tracy. And hot on their heels is a girl from downtown Glasgow, and she's one of our favourite, favourite, favourite superstars. And she's got an apple in her eye. And that apple is known as Alexander the Fantastic, who had a birthday a few days ago. Been a spectacality of a day indeed. And of course, that's our Lady Kirstein. And we're waiting for you like crazy. And you know, we of course waiting for you like crazy. And we can't wait until all this time and season of, of more and more coming people um, visiting uh, this uh, beautiful island time to time and of course among them are our dearest Caroline and Nigel of course how we can forget yes the cat has been let out of the bag she has finally given home and let us know that lady oh so so sweet Caroline and Lord Nigel of the big guns are going to grace us with their presence in downtown Paphos yet again this is the final part of the promenade and this is going to crescendo into another seating area and planting area and I promise you it's going to be a spectacality indeed. Let's sneak round the side of the railings past the Altia all day lifestyle restaurant and now you can feast your eyes and digest on that which of course is the beauty and the spectacality and the blueness of the blue 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 mediterranean sea if you like what you see hit the like click that subscribe don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness as we take you on our jaunts our travels in and around downtown Kedapathos and show you its beauty and its spectacality. Yes, Sir Jim, cuddle up to Lady Amanda. Give her a kiss, give her a cuddle, because very, very soon indeed you will be coming to downtown Paphos on a big bird or perhaps on a canoe. Can you see this lady's table 
said one bird. What kind of bird it is? I'm sorry, don't know the name in English. There's a couple um, of pigeons there, couple, and they are well feasting, feasting their eyes and digesting on her nuts, and she's getting some pictures. Wow. What a spectacality of an event on the Island of Love, which of course is downtown Kedapathos. Two lovebirds, three lovebirds sitting at a table at the Altier all day lifestyle restaurant. And on top of all that, they are feasting their eyes not only on Ochinga Sila Booth, but on that, which of course is the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. We're going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe. Don't forget to go and hunt us down on that Buy Me A Coffee platform because that's where you could gift us that virtual coffee or two or perhaps like Lady Kirstein, join us as a superstar member. But also there is one gentleman's got some nuts and they don't go in there, these birds. What can I say? I meant... We know what you meant. I would like to say to you many, many thanks loving your presentation in front of screens of yours wishing you were here and kissing you from the bottom of our two thanks for watching and of course we'll see you again very very soon somewhere in downtown Kedapathos and you never know we might have a pigeon or two on a shoulder as well thanks for watching she's dancing she's prancing <laughs>